So I'm from Lucknow. I've lived in Lucknow for 17 years. And Lucknow is a white city. Lucknow mein har ghar safed hota hai. I think, you know, whenever I looked around, in that city, people would wear white kurtas. People would wear their white hair with a lot of, you know, there, there, was, there was a lot of pride in it. Shayat, logon ki saadgi unki safed poshi mein nazar aati. Right? So I think wearing white was a big thing that, you know, it, it reflects the kind of person I am. And everything was white. The houses on our lane was white. I think no head I ever sold in Lucknow till that point in time. And I used to keep wondering, say, ho kya rahe? But, uh, you know, that's the environment you grew up in. And the only color you would see through the year would be around Holi. Right? That would be Holi and that would be a color all over. Everybody on the street, lying on the street. Uh, and, you know, in smaller cities, there's very really gay abandon. Nobody had much trouble. And that would be the time when everybody would come out. Watch their houses, which of course everyone's enthusiasm would have by now got chilkored with paint from all over and all the, you know, the <laughs> pichkari spraying and stuff. And that's when people would come out and decide now they've got to repaint their houses. And everybody would go back and again buy basic white and paint. That's all that would happen. I, I remember stories when I used to be in my nani's house and my nani would actually call these painters and you have to go to these markets where all these painters used to be and pick them up in the morning. And you'd actually go and see him. I said, which one would you do in two You know, like, you wouldn't get because you were paying them by the day and stuff. And you know, and you would get these people and they'd come over. And my nani would sit down and she would actually sit with this big, big dig. And in that, they would bring the lime and they would mix the lime. And in the lime, to make it even more white, what would they mix? Neel. Neel. Mm -hmm. So, neel would get it. And neel would get it. And it would be like this. Once I remember one man was so sleepy, he got so much neel tha, that our walls turned out to be more blue. <laughs> then white and we kept waiting that kisi din safed ho jayenge par nahi hoti my father loved my mom a lot and my mom used to occasionally every now and then suddenly raise this thing of saying you know kuch to color badal do and my dad once experimented with a lavender he did it all inside the house when he went to do it outside i think the neighbors had a morcha <laughs> and they all came and stood outside and keep looking at the house like this you know and my dad i think after a week promptly went back to white so that was the only time that the whites changed but just for a while and that was it. I came to Delhi and you know I, I spent 17 years in, in Lucknow that was the only place I was attached to to a certain degree as there was a home and then from there I came to Delhi and then my life and my social status both began simultaneously so first I lived in a hostel in someone else's room because I hadn't qualified for the hostel so I shared this room with someone it changed I changed three times over in three years kept shifting rooms no issues went out mass communication got myself a one Bedroom, garage, actually it wasn't even one bedroom, it was just one room. Bedroom, room, everything was all together. One room, it was this place. Um, I moved from there, I got myself a small barsati, which was in Sardajang enclave. I got a two bedroom barsati, which had a, a iron door, which led from outside the building, because you were not allowed to go as tenants from inside the building. Um, from there, I moved to a three room barsati, which was right opposite, and it also had a terrace. So, to get all our friends together, and everybody would sit on this terrace. So, I really, because of the number of changes I keep making with these places, I had no association with a place called home. I mean, the only association I had was with Lucknow. And then, you know, in 1999, I came to Bombay and I got married to Shaheen. And because I was this Delhi boy, read untrustworthy <laughs> for anyone from, from Bombay, and because I was from the television and film industry, which means super untrustworthy, <laughs> her mother's only thing was, ghar hona chahiye aapke paas. <laughs> So we started looking for places and things and we found this place called Arshi Complex just off Yari Road. And we found this house. And you know, as we moved in, thankfully, because you know, I, I've always lived in these apartment blocks, uh, small places and there were bungalows and things. So you had this whole option of painting it and because you're suddenly living in a high rise, there's no concept of painting the exterior. I said, that's the only decision I've ever been involved in in my life, which is exterior kisran ka hoga. So I handed it over to Shine and I said, Shine, you can do what you want with the house. And Shine was so excited about doing the interiors of the house. And I went to office and, you know, people, the house started coming up. There was weird things happening. There was brick on the wall and I was like, ye kyu ho ra hai? And then there was, you know, some, something else coming up. I said, hai, it's okay and whatever. And then one day I came back from work and there was this yellow wall. It was the brightest yellow I've seen in my life. <laughs> it was the kind of yellow that hurt the eye. And for a man who's lived all his life with whites, that yellow was it. And I said, this can't happen. We will need to have the chat. Because this yellow will mean that the bedroom will be pink. 
this yellow will mean that the bathroom will be green. This yellow will mean that possibly, possibly the guest bedroom will be the only other color left in the palette. Right? So I was like, boss, get bath karni padi. I had nightmares that night of a pink bathroom. And I was like, boss, I have to have this chat. So I got up the next morning and I said, this chat has to happen. And I was sitting in my cup of tea. And the strange part of our house was it was open on both sides. And the sun was kind of streaming in and Shaheen sort of walked in and she sat on that ledge and on that ledge the sun was sort of reflecting on her and she looked at this wall and she had tears in her eyes and she said, my yellow wall. <laughs> the, minute, <laughs> the minute she said, my yellow wall, now how do I have the talk? <laughs> and I suddenly thought to myself and I said, you know, the way the sun was reflecting and my friend Ankur Tawai said, this is your story, it's a romantic moment. You know? So I was like, boss, I'm sorry, but it's the way it is. You know? so, so I saw the sun actually reflecting on her and I was like, actually, you know, this wall is not a color. This wall is a reflection of a person. I think all our walls in our houses have the reflection of a person on them. And maybe I'm just too white and maybe there is a need of a lot more color in this house. So I said, let's see a little bit. Repaint was the na. And you know, frankly, it was a magic. There was a magic to our house. People used to keep coming in and say it's the most creative place in the world. It's such a fun space. People, you know, everybody used to just love our house. And I said, hai. white nahi hua to kya hai? Ye divar yellow hai, wo room yellow hai. And by the way, we did have a pink room. <laughs> and we did have a green room. <laughs> so the, all of that happened. And, and suddenly, I, I actually from that point in time started assessing and we've moved uh, one to one more house which is much larger than that which by the way doesn't have single colors on the wall it has stripes it has distressed colors it has colors mixed in colors if you could actually make that out you'd swallow a huge mystery sometimes I guess but it's but it's all of that and I actually said that homes when you come to them you know they're just plaster and walls which is like the blank walls you know I mean so these blank walls they're just like pages of a storybook and in this storybook, you add the color of your personality and everyone's personality sort of plays out. But then you may ask saying, what about my personality? So the book always has bookends available. And all bookends are white. <laughs> so I'm still going to try and find the space for the bookends and I'll leave all the color to Shaheen because I think that's what really adds something special to every house that we built. That's my story.